Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code on this side. So in this question we are going to discuss a question, root to leaf paths. Okay, what does the question say? The question says that you have been given a binary tree, right, binary tree. Now, we all know that in a binary tree, there is a component named root, which is the first and the topmost stable element of a binary tree and there is something known as leaf nodes, right. For example, in the given binary tree, the leaf nodes are 30. 40 60 that are not uh, the leaf node are defined as that the they, they do not have any children right okay now there can be multiple leaf nodes right at least one right at least one we know about that that there is there is at least one leaf node if the binary is not null right if there is a root present then there will be at least one leaf node okay now the question asks me that for each leaf node i have to tell the path from root to leaf node that is for example 40 is a leaf node the path from root to 40 is 10 20 40 that is i will cover 10 i will go to 20 i will go to 40 similarly for 60 it will be 10 20 60 right for 30 it will be 10 30 that's it i have to make a vector of all of these this is a vector this is a vector this is a vector and then make a vector that contains all these vectors and you have to return me this vector okay you have to return me this vector this is the input input out of scheme of the question now how will you solve it so we already know that for binary tree almost 99 percent problems are solved using traversal techniques and this problem is no different i will have to use traversal how will i conclude it how will i go for the traversal i will say i will keep a data structure in my hand let us name it as vector only. This is a vector or vector with me. Okay. And I am calling my function for 10. Because we know that for traversal, we usually go for the uh, recursion techniques. Like pre-order is also recursive. Like it can be solved using iteration. But we go, generally go for the recursion part. Right. Recursion part. So let us should, uh, solve it using pre-order only. The question can be solved using any in order, any, uh, in order or traversal also. But please go for the pre-order because pre-order goes with root, left, right. So, my approach says that if I get root at first, then it is better for me, okay. So, I will call my function for the empty data structure with 10th node. That, if, that is, I will have to explore this node, right. Now, pre-order says explore this node. By exploring, I mean push value into data structure. That is, I have to push this value, this is 10 into my data structure by I mean by exploring i mean this that is this data structure actually becomes 10 right this data structure will look something like 10 okay this will become 10 and i'm standing on the 10th node currently right now because pre-order is there i will go towards the left and then i will go towards the right that is two recursion subcases will be made right i will go with the same data structure that is that contains 10 and i will go towards 20 right and similarly 10 30 now i will have to explore the node of 20 right by exploring i means put 20 in it right this becomes 10 20 and 20 right okay now 20 also has two cases 40 and 60 so again so uh, it is this something like this okay it is 20 10 exploring 40 and similarly 10 20 exploring 60 now I can see that 40 and 60 both are leaf nodes. So what is happening in the recursion subcase of this one? What will happen? I will push 40. That is, this will become 10, 20, 40, 6, uh, and I will I will keep at 40 this one, and I will see that 40 is a leaf node. So what will I do? I will push this data structure into my answer. That is, one of my vector will become 10, 20, 40, right? And I will return this recursion call. Now, for this, I will push it. So 10, 20, 60. 60 is my node. This is my data structure. I will see that 60 is also a leaf node. So I will push the vector that is 10, 20, 60 into my vector answer. I will return the calls, right? Now, because both the calls are returned, this will also return the call. And now I will have to explore this one. Again, put it 10, 30, 30. And we can see that 30 is also a leaf node. So I will push this vector that is 10, 30 into my answer. That is 10, 30, right? Now this call is also finished. 
this call is also finished this call is also finished and i will return to the main function right the problem was as simple as that okay as you can see we have got all the vectors we wanted and that's all so how will the code work i am telling you so i will make a, a function let us name the function as solve right so i will start with the root and it will take my current data structure that will let us name it as curve okay my answer will be uh, a global variable right now okay what will i do i will say that if by chance my root is equals to equals to null that means i have surpassed the leaf node i i should not shouldn't have done that so what i will say i will say return i cannot do anything right if it is not null then cur dot push back roots data right that is the step the simple straight arrow right okay now if my current if my sorry it is if my root is leaf node right push the vector into answer push cur into answer and return now you should be aware that answer is my globally declared vector or vector int okay if this is not a leaf node then it is particularly a between node but i will say i will say that cur that cur has been pushed okay and solve for roots left with cur and similarly solve for roots right with cur and if you will try to make the subtree for this one this will exactly look like this okay so i hope you are clear with the pseudo code and etc etc let us move to the coding section now all right guys so here we are in the coding area and before starting to code i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as much as possible because really it gives me a lot of motivation okay so how will we proceed with this question we will first meet a vector of vector int answer right it will store my all the answer that i have to run now i will make initialize a vector of int cur right okay and then i will call the solve function for root cur answer answer will send by reference after the solve function implementation is completed i will say return your answer after the solve function has been called successfully now solve function will look something like this void solve it will take node star root as a first argument second argument is vector of int current and third argument is vector of vector int answer right okay now my first condition is that if my root is equals to equals to null that is i should that i cannot do anything so i will say return if it is not what can i say i can say that um i will have to push the value so cur dot push back roots data and after that move towards solving it so now i will say that if my roots left equals to equals to null and my roots right equals to equals to null this is the condition for the leaf node so if the both the conditions are true the node is leaf so i will say answer dot push back this will be back cur and then return your answer right simple otherwise solve for roots left with current and answer and solve for roots right with current and answer as simple as that okay let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine in the meantime please do consider subscribing to my channel or oh, there has been some compilation error what does it say it says there is some oh it is running answer okay okay let us try to compile and run it now so hope it will work fine it yeah okay it is working fine okay let us try to submit it for the back end test cases as well okay it has been run and thank you for watching my video please 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 do consider subscribing and we will meet tomorrow with a new question and a new energy thank you have a nice day